What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do a dream catcher read for the sign of Libra. Okay, Libras, how are y'all doing? Um, hopefully, you guys are doing well. Happy New Year and all that jazz. Okay, remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next okay so i've missed you guys i've been on a i guess you can say long hiatus if you will um but just clearing out my energy um hopefully you guys get used to that um and to give you guys a little bit of time to clear your energy as well hopefully you've been doing that um making some changes to the channel as far as readings go they have been reduced uh tremendously you might say okay um basically general sneak peeks are done they're gone um and let's see what else did i get rid of monthly manifestations they're out as well okay so i'm now just pretty much kind of doing four readings with the exception of like energy shout outs um which are at random and so are the um channeled readings as well i didn't do a lot there wasn't that many messages going on while i was on a uh, vacation so i only did like a few but doesn't mean i won't get to the rest of the signs it just depends on what the energy is okay so with that being said let's go ahead and get into y'all's reading okay so we're going to start off with the dream deck here and I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle for you guys, Libra. I usually always sit in y'all's energy before I start, but, and shuffle beforehand, but I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle again. Um, like I said, just doing some, some cleansing, working on my shop. Um, you guys uh, can go on my About Me page to see the link to my Etsy, um, or you can follow me on Twitter um, so that way you can see when I'm actually working on new stuff for the shop okay so got those done we're gonna go ahead and pick our three if you're not familiar one from the top which is for your energy where it is now what's going on with it one from the bottom which is the energy of your person and or situation and then one energetically pulled from the middle which is in regards to the energy between you and or the person and or situation whatever's going on with you right now okay so let's see what we have for you in your energy we have the knight of coins okay the knight of coins okay sorry if it's a little hazy for the person and or situation we have the six of swords which is aquarius and taurian like feminine taurian energy okay and then the energy between the two of you is the wheel of fortune okay major arcana alert okay so not bad okay i kind of like this spread in the sense of within your energy it feels as though with this knight of coins it is kind of centered around of course it's earth energy but i'm paying more attention to the fact that i can see the taurus symbol and looks like aries here as well with a little bit of pisces also in the lurch okay as you can see there okay but it's talking about possibly some form of movement in the sense of value if you guys have been watching me long enough you guys know that pentacles is not always about materialistic things as far as finances it could just be about getting some information as far as value is concerned very kind of like 
you know, somewhat mature energy, at least trying to be, okay? It's not king energy. It would be nice if it was. Um, but for right now, it's where your energy is, okay? I think you're starting to realize what your value is, Libra, okay? And what your worth is. And so you're not afraid to, you know, say it. You may be having some dreams as far as kind of like seeing comments or compliments in your dreams, okay, kind of written out. Um, I did recently have a, have a dream in regards to that, but it was more so in regards to Taurus, okay, um, as far as some attributes, if you will, of Taurus. And so maybe start doing that, or maybe you're having dreams of people telling you about what attributes they love about you or people are starting to tell you that okay but primarily i'm getting more of a vibe of you realizing that for yourself okay which is a great place to be okay libra so very proud of you all right so now with the energy of the situation and or person okay like i said this is six of swords Aquarius with feminine Taurian energy, and I'm going based on the symbols over here in this corner. Okay, if I can get my finger in front of the card. There you go. Okay, so Aquarius over here, Taurus symbol over here, feminine energy. Okay, so with the Six of Swords, it's always talking about some form of movement. Okay, so possibly someone moving towards you. Okay, in the sense of Possibly, like I said before, knowing your value, okay? And maybe there could have been some form of separation um, because even though there's like no death card or anything like that, I feel like with the Six of Swords, it's always someone in a boat sailing away or headed towards somewhere, okay? So it feels as though, you know, again, whenever this card comes up, which is very popular within the dream catcher cards, within the readings, I mean, is that I always notice there's two different masks. There's a mask on the boat, and then it looks as though this person is wearing a mask themselves, okay? And so, obviously, the mask on the boat, there's no eyes there, okay? But it feels as though there's some hidden emotion or possibly something that's hidden that you're unaware of, okay? And so maybe truth is coming to light as this person is holding a lantern as well, okay? So that being said, moving on to the energy between the two of you, being this wheel of fortune, okay? Wheel of fortune is usually talking about some form of change, okay? And so change is good um, in a sense of, like I said, if there's been a separation, maybe there's a change of that turning into coming back together and something being said, okay? You could be having dreams of that, um, possibly somehow reuniting with someone or, like I said, someone admitting how they feel about you or you realizing that about yourself, okay? You could also be making maybe having some dreams of moving possibly okay or needing a change of environment okay so that could also be you know in your dreams going on now or actually in your physical uh life in your physical phys around you in your surroundings okay i don't know why i can't get my words out um <laughs> it's been a minute okay so We'll go ahead and get into the mindful messages. Just did a little light shuffle. And just to match with your energy. Okay. Of the dream deck. Whenever I take long breaks, I feel as though it'll be difficult for me to get back into the energy. But, um... I will say that coming back to start the readings off for the year, it feels very light. So I, like I said, Libra, your, your energy is feeling like it's, you know, settled down from last year, which is, which was probably a little bit hectic for a lot of people. But, um, if I remember correctly with you guys last year, it was pretty hectic. Okay. As far as relationship wise. Okay. So 
with the mindful messages, we're going to go from the top and the bottom. Thankfully, <laughs> I have my readings uh, kind of like written out so I remember how my layout goes. Okay. Even though I've done it a couple of times, it's always nice to have it. Okay. So with the mindful messages, this is what should be your main focus. Okay. As far as between you and the situation. Okay. So you can take both of the messages for yourself or you can do one for yourself and one towards the situation. So the first one here is return to the body. Okay. One that is rather popular within these readings when I do them. So return to the body. We're talking about primarily your third eye and your crown chakra. So you may need to do some work there or you're kind of in your head about some things. Okay. As far as trying to make some decisions, use your discernment, um, kind of, you know, listen to yourself, listen to your gut intuition, be aware of what it is that you want and where you're trying to go. Okay. Um, pay attention to your dreams because there is always something significant there. Okay. Just pay attention, especially if you start seeing things reoccurring. Okay. So when I'm caught up in a stressful moment, I can move my awareness to my body. Is my jaw clenched? My body tense? How is my posture? This helps me to see where I can relax and let go of tension. Now I can return to any situation more calm and present, okay? So return to the body is just being, again, aware of who you are, you know, your thoughts, what's around you, what it is that you're trying to aspire to, and just stay more calm and present in the moment. Don't try to go too far into the, the future because then you'll get kind of primarily focused on that. And you might veer off just a little bit, okay? Not that it's a problem, you know, dreaming big or anything like that. It's not a problem with that. The problem is getting too deep into it um, that, you know, if you're disappointed, you know, if it doesn't work out the way that it is, you end up being disappointed if you get my drift, okay? Um, but if you need help with um, discernment and things of that nature and kind of really being aware of your thoughts, um, I do have a meditation oil that can also, you know, double as a body oil as well on my Etsy shop. It's called Remembrance. Um, it does have amethyst and forget-me-not in it, okay? Um, definitely rub it on your pressure points like your temples before you go to bed um, and it and maybe in your third eye area as well just to help with awareness and listen to a crown chakra meditation or a third eye meditation is my suggestion okay if you're new to it 30 minutes is all you need okay so let's get to your second message which is personal journey okay personal journey um, sacral chakra um, vibes going on here a little bit is what I'm feeling. I follow what feels right within me without needing validation from others. We are each on our own journey and mine does not need to look like anyone else's. My enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough. Okay, so Libra. You don't need anybody telling you who you are, what you are, anything of that nature. You don't need the validation. You know for yourself, okay? You are becoming more aware of who you are as a person. Becoming a little bit more confident, more self-reliant, more independent, um, instead of codependent on anyone for anything, okay? And again, for validation. Your journey is your journey, no one else's, okay? They don't have to be along for the ride, okay? They just got to get out the way, okay? So, <laughs> I that's just me okay i'm the same way i go my own way my journey is my journey i don't push it on anyone else okay so that's where you are all right um 
kind of paying attention to your inner child, if you will, with that sacral chakra being right there, okay? Um, it's where your creativity lies, okay? Your solar plexus is more so about joy and, you know, is also tied to that creativity, but in a different sense as far as motivating you to get things done um, in a sense of a maturity about your creativity. With solar plexus, it's more so, again, that inner child, um, creativity, that innocence within us, okay? And so kind of listening to that and marking out what your actual personal journey is associated with that sacral chakra, okay? So we're going to get into the sacred geometry, which is pretty much the outcome of the energy. We'll do one from the top and one from the bottom as well. You can do the same thing with these, one for yourself and one towards the situation, okay? Or you can take both. And if you like, you can take a screenshot of the imagery and kind of use that as just a, a good maybe five, 10 minute meditation within the day. Just look at that image and kind of write some things down about how the image makes you feel or what thoughts may come to your head as you're looking at the image, okay? So we have number 40, soul time, okay? Soul time, okay? Soul time. Hopefully you guys can see the image pretty clearly there. I would hold it up closer, but then there'll be more glare, okay? So it says the frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while the corporal body is mortal, the soul is timeless limitless and infinite okay soul time it's really time to hone in okay and really become one with yourself okay that timeless limitless and infinite being that you are okay time to spend some time with yourself if you have not done that already okay protect your energy 40 equaling out to four is what four stands for, okay? It's protecting your mind, body, and spirit from any kind of negative energy whatsoever. Negative thoughts, negative comments, things of that nature, okay? And that remembrance also helps combat that as well, okay? Remembering the positive aspects of who you are as a person, okay? Connect with yourself a little bit more, okay? Next message is Divine Masculine, okay? Divine Masculine, okay? Number 22, which equals out to four again, okay? Two is talking about focusing on what you want, not what you don't want. And again, like I was mentioning before, that discernment. Your masculine energy, we all have, um, is that energy that really connects to pretty much discernment providing things of that na nature, being proactive, really getting after everything, your motivation side, okay? So the frequency of divine masculine supports our strong, focused, and active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom, okay? That's a little bit of help from the <laughs> feminine side, okay? Thus the feminine Taurus in that Six of Swords card, okay? So kind of hone into that, okay? Again, protecting your energy at all costs, okay? While moving in a way that gets you to your goal, okay? So like I said, for some of you, it could be a divine masculine um, coming in, okay? Um, for others, or a want for a divine masculine, okay? Still kind of wanting that relationship, you know? Um, but I really feel like this is more so for a lot of Libras that are focusing on themselves right now. Love can possibly wait, okay? So, because you got other things going on. Do what you gotta do, okay? So, with that being said, you guys went kind of into overextended dream uh, catcher readings are usually like 15 minutes. I try to keep them that way. But because it's been a minute, we went over. 
but it's all right. So Libras, that is all that I have for you guys this evening. Of course, I will be back with Heart's Desire readings next um, this week. As you know, you're in week one. So um, this is all you guys. So um, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.